In this video, you'll see a quick way to select several rows of data based on what's in those rows and then delete them. This is Deborah Dalgleish from Contextures.com. On this worksheet, I have a list of product sales and some of those are for paper. We've got paper, paper cutter, and then another paper. I want to delete all the paper sales, but leave everything else. To find the paper rows and select them, I'm going to click at the top of column B to select that whole column. To find something, I can use the shortcut Control F or go to the Home tab and in the Editing section, click Find. In here, I'm going to type the word I'm looking for, which is paper. These all start with a capital P, but I'm not worried about the case of the text. I would like upper and or lower case, so I'll just type paper. At the bottom, I could either click find all or find next. I want to find all the cells that have paper in them, so I'll click that, and it creates a list at the bottom here. I can make this taller to see more. It found three, and I want to select all of those cells that it found, so I'll press Control A. We can see them highlighted here and on the worksheet. That's all I need this dialog box for, so I'm going to close it and then go to the next step. Now that I have all the paper cells selected, I want to delete those rows from the worksheet. And to do that, I'll right click on any of the cells that are selected, click Delete, and the options here, I'm going to select entire row and click OK. The same three cells are selected, but the paper rows have been deleted and all the others have shifted up to fill the blank rows. You can do the same thing if your list is in a named Excel table. So here we've got a table. You can see the drop down list in the headings. And when I have a cell selected on the ribbon, it says table design. So that shows that this is a named table. I'm going to do the same thing here, but instead of clicking at the very top of the column, I'm going to click at the top of the product heading cell. And you can see a black arrow there, and when I click, it selects all the items in that column, but not the heading cell. Now I'm going to repeat the steps to find. I'll press Control F, paper is selected, and I'll click Find All. And when I expand the list, there are the same three items that it found in the other table. Control A to select all of them, and then close this dialog box. Now we want to delete those rows, so I'll right click on one of the cells, delete. We only have two choices here, table columns, which is dimmed out, and table rows. And when I click that, it immediately deletes the rows from this table and shifts all the other rows up. Thanks for watching this video. You can go to my website, contextures.com, to get this workbook. And please subscribe to my Contextures YouTube channel so you can see the latest videos as I post them.